it's a duck. It's great, right? <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Sean and this is Free99 English. Today's video, we are going to be discussing interview questions and answers. One of the members in my WhatsApp group asked me to do a video on this, this guy right here. So I'm going to do it. If you have any other suggestions for videos, feel free to come join the WhatsApp group. The link will be below. Ask any questions you want. I might do a video on it. So before we jump into the video, I'd like to ask that you consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure you share this video with any other English learners that you might know. Hit that like button if you find this video useful. Follow me on my social medias. Links will be below. And as mentioned previously, my WhatsApp group also is below. With that being said, Let's get right into this. So this will just be the top five most common interview questions with a correct example answer and one incorrect example answer. The first one is, tell me about yourself. This invites you to give a general introduction. Make sure you give a short history. Avoid mentioning personal information such as marital status, children, political views, or religious views. Don't summarize your resume word for word or your CV, depending on what part of the world you're in. Don't overthink the answer. We got this cool dude. His name's Barack. Getting interviewed. Tell me about yourself. Uh, I really enjoy working with one of the top atomic energy companies in the world. I've been working as a material manager for the past 10 years. I'm in charge of the mobilization and demobilization of tooling from Canada to Korea. It's been a great learning experience, but uh, I'm ready to spread my wings and contribute to a company as reputable as yours. Great answer. Check mark. Now we got this bad hombre named Don coming up all in this interview, relaxed and not ready for it. Tell me about yourself. I can't do a Donald Trump impersonation. Uh, my Barack was terrible, so my Donald Trump's not going to be very good. Uh, so I'm not going to try. Hi, my name is Don. I'm married with some kids, but I'm not sure how many. I like talking about conspiracy theories and making stuff up. I really think nuclear weapons are cool. And that's why your company seems wicked good for me. <coughs> no, terrible answer. Don't give that answer at all. And the next one is, how did you hear about this position? Now, the company might be advertising on multiple platforms, and your answer could help them determine where their applicants are coming from. You could have heard about this position online, in the newspaper, or from a current employee. Be careful with revealing this to be an employee referral, because depending on how the employee's work ethic is, this could potentially hurt your chances just as much as it could help. So, if the person that referred you is lazy, and you know it, don't mention their name. But if they're a hard worker, definitely tell them that they referred you to this job. It could go a long way to helping. Old Tupac over here, he's been out of work for a while. Just been on the down low. How did you hear about this position? I don't know how Tupac talked. I just know how he rapped. So I'm going to just guess just by the way he looks. I'm actively searching right now, and I found uh, your job posting on Indeed.com. I reviewed the job description before applying, and it seems like a great potential fit. Checkmark. Old Kanye over here. He's coming into this interview too cocky. How did you hear about this position? I'm not really sure, dog. I just went on multiple job search websites and I just started clicking apply to all of them. I guess you're lucky to have found me. 
That's a big old red X, Kanye. See if I can do it. Do it this way. Yeah. Should have should have prepared more, Kanye. Come on, man. You're better than this. <sighs> and the next one is where do you see yourself in five years? Make sure to answer this professionally. Make sure your goals align with the company's goals. Talk about what you want to achieve. Talk about what you want to learn. Old Steve Jobs. What are you doing here? Where do you see yourself in five years? I'm really excited about this opportunity because in five years, I'd like to be someone who has a deeper expertise in my field of work. I'd also like to take on more managerial responsibilities to take the lead on future projects. Wow, you're a go-getter. All right, I like it. There you go. That was a good one. <laughs> good job, Steve. Good job. I think you might be going places. Ugh. Vladdy, what are you doing here? Seriously? All right, let's see what you got. Where do you see yourself in five years? Yeah, taking over your job and forcing you in early retirement. Then I could pick my hours and party all night and sleep all day. Hmm. No, don't say that. Don't say that, Vladdy. And the next one. What do you know about the company? Take the five minutes and just research before you go to the interview. Don't get caught with your pants down. Do the research. Speak about specifics from their website. The employer wants to see an applicant that is motivated to work for the company. They want to find an applicant who will take the initiative to research the company. Oh, SpongeBob. He's got to be a hard worker, I bet. What do you know about the company? Oh, I read on your website that you are a federally crowned corporation and Canada's largest nuclear science and technology laboratory. I also read that in the past, your company exported can-do technology worldwide. It says on Wikipedia that your company was founded in 1952. Good job, SpongeBob. It's Kim Jong-un. He's Kim Jong-ilin. Yeah, that was his dad. No, you don't get it? Yeah, wasn't that funny? Ah, Kim Jong-un. Are you ready for this? What do you know about our company? You, you sell atomic weapons to North Korea, right? Don't worry, I'll keep hush-hush. I promise, hush-hush. Oh, yeah, you, you give me, you give me. <coughs> No, we're not selling anything to you. And the last one is, what do you consider your strengths and weaknesses? That one's always a tough one. If you are asked about both your strengths and weaknesses, then lead with your weakness and finish on a positive note with your strengths. Avoid making jokes. This is a serious question. Don't list too many strengths and too many weaknesses. Donald. What do you consider your strengths and weaknesses? That's a duck. It's great, right? My weakness is that I can be too critical of myself. In the past, I've overcome this by hitting the pause button, taking a step back, and celebrating what I've achieved. My strength is that I'm flexible to handle change. Working in an industry such as ours, falling behind on the schedule could potentially cost the company millions of dollars. Reworking and rearranging the workflow can be paramount while leading a project. Good job, Donald. Oh, Hillary. What do you consider your strengths and weaknesses? Well, my weaknesses is that I can be forgetful. Uh, what was the other part of the question? Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit of fun, but these are serious. These are serious questions, and I hope the serious answers will help you in the future. So like I said earlier in the video, if you'd like to see these videos and you have suggestions of videos you want to see or topics you want to be covered, make sure you join the WhatsApp group and let me know.
We're in there every day chatting. Come join us. And if you like this video and you want to keep learning more, you can check out these two videos. This one's way over here somewhere. And this one's right above me. And heck, go ahead and subscribe. Hit my face over here. Not this face. That face. Over there. Right there. God, you're handsome. Oh, see you guys.